Thanks for joining us for the Purdue University CME Group Ag Economy Barometer October 2021 survey results. I'm Jim Minter, Director of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture, and I'm going to share with you the highlights of this month's survey. The Ag Economy Barometer dipped slightly this month to a reading of 121. That's down three points from last month's reading of 124. It's the third month in a row the barometer has declined. The decline in the barometer was really driven by declines in both the index of current conditions and the index of future expectations. The index of current conditions declined five points to a reading of 135 from 140, whereas the index of future expectations declined just two points to a reading of 114 from 116 last month. The Farm Financial Performance Index declined to a reading of 104 from 110 the last couple of months, and that decline was driven primarily by the fact that fewer producers said they expect to see better financial performance on their farms in the upcoming 12 months. The Farm Capital Investment Index actually rose slightly to a reading of 46 from 43 last month. 39% of the producers, however, said that low farm machinery inventories have really been impacting their farm machinery purchase plans and I think holding back that Farm Capital Investment Index. There's clearly concern on the part of farmers about farm input price inflation. One third of the producers in this month's survey said they expect to see farm input prices rise by 12% or more in the upcoming year. And in a follow-up question, we asked producers about their biggest concerns for their farming operation in the upcoming year, and 44% said that they think higher input costs are the number one concern for them. Despite the weakness in overall farmer sentiment, farmers continue to be bullish about farmland values. The long-term farmland value expectation index hit a reading of 161. That's a record high index reading and two points higher than it was last month. Similarly, the short-term index also rose as well. We continue to ask corn and soybean farmers what their expectations are for farmland cash runner rates in 2022 versus 2021. And there was a change this month. 43% of the producers in our survey said they expect to see higher cash rental rates in 2022 versus 2021. That's down from nearly 50% the last couple of months. There continues to be a lot of interest and publicity regarding farmers possibly capturing carbon on their farms and receiving payments for it. And we continue to survey farmers on that. However, a majority of the farmers, 71% of the farmers in this month's survey, said they're really not aware of opportunities to receive payments to capture carbon on their farms. And just 1% of all the farmers in our survey this month said they've signed a carbon contract. That's really very little change since the beginning of 2021. That wraps up the highlights of this month's survey. The full report on the Purdue CME Group Ag Economy Barometer is available on our website. That's purdue.edu slash agbarometer. And you'll also find some details available on our podcast, the Purdue Commercial Agcast, as well. You can join us for our upcoming Outlook webinar on the corn and soybean outlook. That's coming up on November 10th at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. More details available on that at purdue.edu slash commercialag. On behalf of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture, I'm Jim Mintert. Thanks for joining us.